uh, these attacks are, are not coming out of nowhere. Uh, tensions between uh, the Uyghur minority living in Xinjiang and the Chinese authorities have been growing, particularly over the past year. Uh, just yesterday, 39 uh, Uyghurs were sentenced to up to 15 years in prison for spreading videos online that the government charged were promoting terrorism. Uh, we're also hearing unconfirmed reports uh, that just a few days ago, Chinese police opened fire on a large group of protesters, uh, Uyghur uh, protesters, who were upset that women and children were being prevented from wearing headscarves and, and expressing their, their Muslim religion in public. Uh, so tensions have been rising for a while, and this is just this attack today uh, just shows that these attacks are growing in uh, frequency and sophistication. Does seem possible this was quite a big attack, doesn't it? Of social media, uh, quite a few people on social media talking about a lot of smoke in the area, uh, perhaps three or four bodies on the ground, people sitting around just dazed with the remains of the market around them. One business owner talking about a dozen big, big bangs. Yes, it seems that this attack is 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 really was really quite well coordinated and quite sophisticated. It took place in an open air market around eight o'clock in the morning, a time when many people would have been in that area. It also took place very close to a very popular local park in Urumqi. Uh, so the timing was very well chosen in order if one was wanted to uh, create maximum impact and maximum injuries. Uh, of course, we don't know the total number of injuries, but you're right. The photos that have been posted online show people looking simply stunned 